Today on MSNBC, they presented some video of Border Patrol agents dumping out water that was left there for illegal immigrants. They used this footage to attack Trump and suggest that this was video showing Trump-era Border Patrol agents. This really reminds me of how the entire kids in cages narrative got started by the media using a picture taken during the Obama administration. The Trump administration including the Secretary of Homeland Security, blamed the girl's father for taking her on such a hazardous trip. But everyone in the Trump administration has done everything they possibly can to make that trip more dangerous, more deadly. They destroy water supplies that are left in the desert by Samaritans who are doing what Donald Trump's Bible tells them to do. The Trump administration is illegally blocking fathers and daughters like this from seeking asylum at our border stations. And so they face the choice of hopelessly waiting near a border station for the Trump administration to suddenly decide to obey the law or finding another more dangerous way to cross. One of the issues was dehydration. Uh, we're going to show some video, which you probably can't see just the way that you guys are on a, a live view camera right now. But there's video of Border Patrol agents dumping water on the ground, water that was meant to be left for migrants. This is from the Tucson based aid group, uh, a Tucson based aid group. Um, what do you know about whether water is being provided to migrants when they are picked up near the border? Well, I can tell you I've, I've been assured uh, that water is the first priority when migrants are picked up. I don't know that that is happening, and that's why it's so... In this week, we saw video of people who were still on the Mexico side of the border, families, including children, having numbers written in magic marker on their arms to designate them as a number that are looking to have asylum in this country. We saw Border Patrol dumping water that was meant for desperate migrants being dumped out on the ground. This just sort of extravagant cruelty is unusual for any administration but for this administration they seem to think it's effective for their base exactly this just sort of extravagant cruelty is unusual for any administration but for this administration they seem to think it's effective for their base exactly they murdered this child they did that they murdered the 18 month old little girl that died a few days after they released her back in June and they murdered many other children and they're separating families and they must be held accountable. Uh, the, the dehydration, severe dehydration like this cannot be uh, dealt with with just water. Uh, when, when you, and, and, and yet they are out there destroying the water supplies that Good Samaritans put out there for people who find themselves in these situations. Absolutely. Anyone ha who has suffered uh, with the flu um, and has had minor dehydration understands that this is a big problem. You cannot simply drink water or drink your way out of um, severe dehydration. The signs were there. They failed to see the signs. They asked her father if he needed uh, health care. Um, using a picture taken during the Obama administration. Using a picture taken during the Obama administration. Using a picture taken during the Obama administration. How did they ask his father? He is from an indigenous uh, community. Um, he is not bilingual. He does he not- He speaks a tribal language, not Spanish. He absolutely yeah. speaks a, a tribal language. Yeah. Yes. And uh, when the Democrats, uh, take over the House of Representatives next month. Uh, I assume this is the kind of thing that you would- Exactly.